sex is. Um, no one, I mean, not no one, but most of our society today doesn't know what, se what real sex is. Um, we have a very, very limited, destructive view on sex. And even though I've been doing this YouTube channel for almost four years now, people still don't understand what I mean when I say sex. Um, my book, Sex Magic Evolution, is out. You can get it on Amazon. Go down below to the link. You can get a free sample also on my website if you want to check out the book. It will help you. It will, if you're really serious about not only knowing and understanding sexual energies and mastering them, but if you're really interested in becoming the most divine, powerful version of you as a human in this human body. Um, I mean, this information will change the world. Um, and this is why I don't have a lot of people on this channel is because very few are actually ready to do this work. And if you are actually watching this right now, and if you're watching my channel, I have no doubt that you are one of the people who are going to fucking change the world. And we need you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sending you lots of protection and awakening and magic and connection to the Divine Mother. So I will make this simple in this video. Okay. Um, you can go to my other videos, my earlier videos also to see what I, um, um, how I explain sex and also again, read my book. It will take you very deep, very simply. All right. Sex is the energetic union. Notice that I'm saying energetic and not physical. It's the energetic union of the masculine and the feminine. All right. So if we have the masculine and the feminine, they come together. All right, and this space between them that they're creating, this vortex that they're creating, and they are creating, no matter what kind of sex you're having, you're creating a vortex. Even if you're having, when you're having sex with your twin flame, or even if someone is raping someone else, they're, they're creating a vortex. What vortex depends on the intention and the use of sexual energy, which unfortunately, again, most people don't fucking know how to use. Even people who love each other and have sex with their twin flames when they're with their husbands and wives, they don't fucking know how to use it, okay? So um, they're creating a third world, a, th a vortex, a, a portal. Um, now, this is, I, I want to also go a little and explain about demonic entities because it's a subject that I'm speaking about recently a lot. Because finally, finally, people are seeing the pedophilia and the dark rituals and things like that, which I've been researching and writing about for seven years now. And I'm so happy that, I mean, I'm happy in, the, happy in the way that it's finally out there so we can do something about it, so we can change it. I'm happy that it's not hidden anymore. So when a demon, when a demonic entity uses a human being to rape a child, for example... Uh, uses a pedophile they don't care about the sexual act you have to understand this and and maybe this will give you a more ex understanding kind of subconsciously on what sex is okay it's not when a demon again when a demon wants to use the sexual energy through a pedophile and take the energy from the child they are not they don't care about the sexual act itself they, meaning they don't care about the penis going inside the vagina or, or about another body part. They don't care about the act itself, the physical act. They care about the sexual energies. They care about this. They care about this portal that they're creating. Now, demonic entities are very low in vibration. So, of course, they would need the sexual act to be in the lowest form possible. They need it to be full of um, terror and trauma and fear, so much fear. Fear is, again, I speak about it in my book and in other videos, fear is not a human emotion. Fear is a very powerful energy that is used against us, okay? So, um, so this, is, this is the sex, basically. This is sex. It's, it is that union. Now, what I teach and what the temple teaches through me, it's not really me, it's the temple of Isis and Lilith who chose me be, because I was, and not because I'm special, because I was just ready. I have been working my whole life to prepare myself to be a vessel for this information. I didn't even know I was preparing myself to be a vessel for this information, but I was ready. 
And again, this is what I keep saying. You can all, everyone needs, needs to receive these light codes and information and wisdom now. And we can all connect to that dimension of the temple. But we must, must, must prepare our vessel and have a pure, clean vessel, which means body. Um, this is why I keep repeating, don't eat animal products and alcohol. Don't have sex with just anyone. You know, we have to keep this pure in order to connect to a, to that energy. Um, so otherwise you're just going to connect to some low vibrational shit. So again, you're always creating a portal and a, and a dimension, a, like a connection to a certain dimension, a certain world. You're creating a certain world. You're always creating something through sex, through the energy of sex, whether you're masturbating, whether you're doing it with another partner. Um, the question is what kind of world you're creating? What reality are you inviting and creating? Okay. Um, sex um, should be used and can be used for creation, but it's also used for destruction. And destruction is also a form of creation. I mean, there is only creation in the, in the universe. It's, it's a universe of expansion. It always expands more and more. So even when you're destroying something, you're creating destruction. Um, so, so again, um, now, the, the union of the masculine... Let's do masculine and feminine. The union of the masculine and feminine can happen between uh, the same sex partners, but this is a big but, and I'm sorry to, to tell you, but it's true. And, and it, this is not nothing to do again, you know, against gay people. I love everyone, but um, the, again, you can create, the, it, it is a union. Remember, I said it's an energetic union of masculine and feminine. So you can have two men, one is masculine, one is feminine. They're still creating a vortex. They're still, still creating um, something together. And they can experience tremendous amounts of love and, and connection. And it's amazing. The thing is with sex magic. And again, I talk about a lot in my book. So I go really deep in my book. Um, the thing with sex magic is. And again, I'm sorry to burst someone's bubble. But I'm here to bring the truth. Um, the sexual fluids play a huge part so when it comes to mastering the sexual flow of the kundalini energy and using the sexual flow and mastering the mastering and using sexual uh fluids in in sex magic you need the physical body of of, of a man and a woman um, it, it's just the way it is, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, so this is another level of sex, which is you have the physical, you have the physical, which is just a manifestation of the energetic. Um, but again, it doesn't matter if you're a man and a woman and you're having really horrible, you know, sex with horrible intentions, you know, you're going to create a lot of destruction. So just, it's better that you don't have sex, you know? Um, and it's better, you know, in, in that case, it would be better that you will have two people from the same sex who will have, who will have such a deep, beautiful love connection and good intentions. They will create, I mean, it, it wouldn't be so much of a creation, but they will at least keep the energies pure, purer. Um, it's very difficult to, to explain and also I'm trying to be very politically correct here because I don't want to hurt anyone because everyone, especially talking about this subject, people will always destroy my words and turn into something bad. But this, again, this is not bad and I hope you try to understand it. Sex is the energetic union of a masculine and feminine. What I'm teaching and what I'm trying to bring to the world is that we have to learn from the basics. We can't just jump into like Tantra positions and shit like that. We have to learn from the basics. Um, what is the divine feminine? What is the divine masculine? How to unite the divine? Because see, we we need to have this union within ourselves, first of all. And we need to make sure that that union within ourselves is the divine, is the light side of us. Is the divine masculine and the divine feminine uniting together. Now, in order to do that, there's a lot of shadow work. There's a lot of understanding. There's mastering. There's level to the sex magic school. There's a lot of stuff. That a person needs to do a lot of inner work that you need to do and a lot of shadow work um, and a lot of commitment, soul commitment. But um, 
Sorry, I keep losing my track because I want to say so many things at the same time. You know, it always happens to me. <laughs> so, yeah. And so uniting your divine masculine and feminine absolutely does not mean to push away your shadows and your dark side. Absolutely not. You're actually going to destroy yourselves even more. You have to unite both your light and shadow as well. So when you have a, a shadow part of you, if, you, if you're going to keep suppressing it, it's just going to come in and burst all your bubble, you know? You've got to... You, it, it's a very subtle, aware work that you have to do as a human being. Um, and constantly be honest with yourself. Constantly. So uniting your dark and shadow, uniting... And then, after you unite your dark and shadow, your whole being... You choose your divinity and you choose it from a place of power, not from a place of, I pushed all my shadow aside. It doesn't exist. I don't see it. You know, this is, this is what we're seeing in the world. The world is so shitty today is because so many people have, they don't want to see, they don't want to see the shadows. You know, I just, I'm not going to look, I don't want to see what, what's really happening. Everything is pretty in my world. No, no, no. That's, 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 no. This is why so much shit is coming up to the surface now. Like all the sewage is coming up because we kept suppressing it for so long. You know, and as individual as and as a, as a society at large. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, I hope this gives you a more clear understanding. And again, with my teachings, I try not to. I always remind you to not try to think about it too much. Not don't try to logicalize it too much. Try to feel what I'm saying more, and and use your imagination and your body and your feelings. Um, if you don't have a divine partner, divine, not like a nice partner, a good per person. If you don't have a divine partner to have sex with, do not have sex. Do not. I haven't had sex in like a year and a half. And I'm planning not to do that. And before that, it was years, you know, of not having sex between one partner and the other. You do not want to create more chaos in the world right now. We have enough of that. It's better that you create this union again within yourself, work on yourself, use your sexual energy alone, create your own reality using your sexual flow and your sexual energy, master everything I write in the book, master raising your kundalini energy. I give practices there, so you use it. And trust me, your world will transform and this world will transform. We need more divine mature responsible men and women to use their sexual energy in a more divine way and to create a sacred union okay a sacred union who will create and birth the new world of the mother i love you so much i am a priestess of the temple i am a servant of the mother and i create and birth the new world of the mother <laughs>